I am now going to show you how you can go ahead and install code blocks on your Windows operating system. So what I am doing here is I am first going to open up my browser. In my case, I am using the Firefox browser. In the Firefox browser, in the search box, I am going to simply type in CODE space code blocks and then press enter. Okay, my search engine here is Google search engine. So once you type in code blocks in the search window and you hit enter, you're going to get on the very top of your search results something like this code blocks. Okay, code blocks.org and you're going to see a number of items like this. The only item which is going to be of interest to us is going to be this downloads part. So in this downloads part, it will contain all the packages you need to install code blocks on your Windows machine. So once you have identified this downloads part, what you will do is you will simply click on this downloads. Once you click on the downloads, your next window is going to look something like this. Again in this downloads section, I am only interested in this section download the binary release. So in download the binary release, okay, it contains all the code and all the software like linkers, debugger, compiler required to use code blocks on your PC. So what I'm going to do next is, so just to help you identify this, this is what is going to happen. This is what you should be focusing on download the binary release. So in order to download the binary release, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the download the binary release. Once I click on download on the binary release, I'm going to see different packages available for different operating system like Windows, Linux and Mac OX. Since I'm doing it on Windows, my focus again is going to be only on this first item here. Okay. The first item here which says Windows XP Vista etc. So this is where my focus is going to really be on. So, so just to make sure you get it, this is where you should be focusing on. Now what I am going to do here is I am going to click on this particular link which says Windows XP Vista 7, 8.x and 10. Once I click on this one, I am going to have a screen which looks something like this. It's important to take a look at the screen. On this column, it will show you all the list of files you have. Okay, this is the list of all the files that are available for installation. As we move towards right, you will end up seeing the date it was released and from where all you can really download it from. Okay, so you can either download it from the site called as FOSSUP or you can download it from a site called as sourceforce.net. Now, the most important part here is you need to come here and look for a file which has got the name mingw and setup in it. Okay, so if it's got mingw and setup in it, that means it's got the debugger, it's got the linger, it's got the compiler and the complete plugins are available for you to go ahead and use on your machine. So what you need to do is you need to focus on this particular file. It could be any of them. It could be minw setup for me since I'm on Windows 10. I'm looking at this for you. For somebody else, it could be mingw setup.exe. That's also fine. But don't use this no setup or no setup zip or setup non-admin and all not required because it's your own PC. You will have complete admin rights. So focus on this code blocks mingw and setup.exe. Once you identify that, stick to the that particular line and follow that line. So here it gives me an option to either download from FOSSUB or download from sourceforce.net. Okay, so these are the two options you really have to download. So let me highlight it for you. These are the options to download. What I'm going to do here is I am going to download from sourceforce.net. So to download from sourceforce.net, I simply click on sourceforce.net. And once I click on sourceforce.net, it goes to that site and you will see a window which opens. And in that particular window, the download for the setup file is going to start automatically. So you will end up seeing a window like this.
Okay, once you end up seeing a window like this, you can see that there is a message which says your download will be starting shortly. So in a few seconds, the file called as setup.exe file will start downloading. So what will happen is you will see exactly this particular download happening. So let me make it a little more clear for you. So you will see this particular download happening. So this contains code blocks with the compiler linker everything along with the setup. Now it's asking you would you like to save this file. Simply click on save this file. So suppose I click save on this file. In my case I am using the Firefox browser. So here on the top right it is showing me the download progress. On Chrome and other machines the download is going to happen at the base here. You can see the download status at the base or the file will be downloaded here. Generally depending on where you have set up the download, the download is going to happen. In my case it's going to go to the download folder on your in your machine it may go to a different folder. So simply what you have to do next is on that particular file you will have to simply double click and follow the default instructions. What you mean by the default instructions is accept whatever that prompt box is prompting at you. Do not try to change anything. The default installation is perfectly okay and it is more than adequate for our usage. Accept the default installation. Just keep saying yes or okay to everything and the installation will be complete. Once the installation is complete, we can do a small test to see if the installation is successful. So in my case, what I have done is I have already installed code blocks on my machine. The code blocks I am using is code blocks 17.1. So what you can do is in order to see if your code blocks is successfully installed if you click it should open up this particular screen for you. If you are able to see this particular screen alright if you are able to see this particular screen then things are okay alright. If you are able to see this particular screen when you click after installing okay or after completing the installation it means your installation is successful okay. So you can see all of this stuff here at the bottom. You can see this particular screen. If you have done this, then you're on your right track. In the next video, I'll just show you how to run a simple Hello World program using this particular code blocks installation we have done.